Welcome back, Sports Tonight on China's television. We're taking a look at what went down on day four of the Lagos preliminaries for season 10 of the channel's international kids. Club. I'm super excited on the show tonight because uh, there's hope for football in Nigeria with what we're seeing at the Lagos preliminaries. Talents are bound everywhere in this country, but if you want to find them, find your way to the schools. They are right there in their classrooms with burning talent saying, uh, who will come discover us? And then the channel's international kids club came around. Now we're seeing loads of talents. I was saying, how can we put them together to play football for the love of the game in the right way not cheating yes that's what we're seeing right there at the channels international kids cup lagos preliminaries you saw highlights of what happened in that match between abino omolulu and oye primary school from mushin what a story abino they were two goals down and then they kept fighting you see these kids they are learning something if you go down don't stay down they said no we must fight they fought they were resilient and he went on to win uh, on penalties 5-4. It was an awesome story. I can tell you that one uh, anytime, any day. Let's see more action. Salahuddin Primary School, they've been doing so well at this competition. Uh, to get to this level, they defeated Zumra to Islamia. Uh, but when they met OK Fakot today, their journey ended. Let's see highlights. We'll be right back. Yes, a warm welcome from the Isheri Stadium. Welcome to day four of the Lagos preliminaries of the 10th edition of the Channels International Kids Cup. They come again, okay, Fako, into the box of Salahuddin. Can he get a chance? He goes down, and the referee has pointed to the spot. Intense moment right about now. You can literally cut the tension with a knife, and he goes for goal. It's a brilliant penalty. He picked his spot, power placement, and accuracy. And you can see the joy on the face of the OK Fako players. That's a brilliant penalty. And there goes the final whistle. The late penalty has done it for OK Fako. They're through to the next round. Heartbreak from Salahuddin. You can see some of the players on the top downcast. They're not happy. Unfortunately, they have not made it through to the next round. This is where the journey ends. Live from the Isheri Stadium here at the Lagos Preliminaries. It's finished. Okay, Fako won. Salahuddin Nursery Primary School, nil. It was that quick, yeah. It was that quick. I told you, uh, Merua Daniel uh, from the penalty spot did it for uh, OK Ifako, and that's how they told Salaudi Primary School to go back to school. We love you guys, but <clears throat> just go back to school. So uh, that was how that one ended between OK Ifako and Salaudi Unifrance. Let me tell you a story of Unifrance at this competition. Unifrance Primary School, they are from Ikorodu, and they've been playing beautiful football. Two names you need to keep Fawaz and of course the captain Muaz Muaz um Ganiu Muaz Ganiu has got five goals at this competition uh it's, it's not just a footballer at that level he's a born leader you need to see the way he coordinates his, his schoolmates awesome guy uh and today he proved the point again he scored another goal and Unifrance they are going on strong, they're going to uh, meet uh, in the sem in the semis. They're going to be playing OK Fako, uh, while uh, our friends now Abino Omololu. After doing that, they got so much fans today. Everybody is looking forward to see what they can do against X Planter in the finals. Now you see. Ex-Planta defeated Abinor Omololu last season. So after they defeated Oye today, they said, look, <laughs> Ex-Planta, we're coming for you guys. So we're going to have a cracker of a match tomorrow. But let's see highlights of that part between Unifrance and Army Children's School. It was a bit competitive, but our Unifrance showed quality and they won. Welcome to match day four of the channel's International Kids Cup Lagos preliminaries. The match you're about to witness is the match between Unifrance and Army Children's School. Unifrance, the team in blue and the orange stripes and numbers, 
And of course, the team in black is the Army Children's School. It's been an interesting build up to this point. And the battle is for the tickets to the international finals. Um, two tickets are in the offing for the team in black Army Children's School. As we see at uh, the kickoff of the game there by Army Children's School, they go way back to the defense and they want to build this uh, from uh, behind. We've seen these two teams actually um, explode into action late in the first half of the games they've played previously. Um, I'm not expecting anything different in this one, uh, as um, of course there will be butterflies in the tummy uh, of both sides early on. It's win or go back to the classroom uh, for these uh, kids here. Yeah, it's knockout, so you have to play your heart out. And gradually they come, number nine for Unifront. And uh, they gradually making a deeper incursion. And this is the captain who has been so promising, so talented in his uh, play. He gives it to his teammate. And uh, Hesley has been kicked now. And that's a great goal. Great goal from long after the 18 yard box. And so we see goal number one coming to Unifrance Primary School in this encounter. The second half, new option, new opportunity for them to really make. Uh, uh, things uh, work for them, but here comes Unifrance. Would this be the equalizer or the second goal? Second goal, really. The second goal, beautiful move. Under the first uh, minute of the encounter, we've seen uh, Unifrance record goal number two against the Army Children's School. That means more pressure uh, for the Army guys as far as this encounter is concerned. Good turn by him. Tries to locate his teammate, but. Uh, it was not straight and before you know it ladies and gentlemen it is all over and it is uh Unifrance that is flying to the next stage of the channel's international kids cup well of course the army children's school have, uh, so that's it uh Unifrance. i will be meeting okay Fako. uh did you see muhaz ganeo uh, the captain of Unifrance, did you see the assist that he gave and then went on to score a beautiful goal also? I told you we are discovering talent right here uh, at the channel's International Kids Cup. Uh, we're getting loads of comments, guys, and it's really heartwarming. Keep them coming on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. And I want us to do this show together. Let's contribute to uh, nation building, particularly football at the grassroots. What are the things? We're seeing talents. Uh, through the channels international kids cup lagos preliminaries and that's just um preamble is warm-up phase because we're getting ready for may the 21st when the real action will commence the guys from ghana and Benin republic they are waiting to come uh, to lagos to uh, compete with the other kids that we will put bring together from different parts of the country michael kenny you, you don't have much to say he says thank you so much channel tv we appreciate your appreciation michael uh duranko says I love what you guys are doing. Continue the good job. We're not stopping now. Uh, this is a vision. Uh, we must say thank you to the, to the vision and Mr. John Momo. Ten years already. Ten years I was still going strong. The NFF says, look, we love what you guys are doing. Let's protect it. So this is an NFL protected tournament. This competition is also done in collaboration uh, with a co-football. That's the Lagos State Football Association. They love this competition so much. They like what we're doing. Different state governments have said, we want to join you guys. We want to support you guys. And we're still calling for more, yes. Uh, because we're dealing with kids, we must continue to support them so that we can create, discover more talent for the country. Rose Alice, thank you so much. It says, uh, the Channel Sports, I must congratulate you guys for bringing the youth together. And you say, well done. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, we're giving these guys a chance to come out of the class. I told you a story of Sheung, yeah, Sheung on Onoleke, yes. Sheung is just six years old. And he's a fantastic defender from Greenhaven, Montessori, Nazarene Primary School. Sheung was a, <laughs> he was a sweeper. Uh, you, you watch him twice, you see terrible West in him. I would love it so much because at that age, he's already showing some, 
some signs of what it takes to be a promising food uh, defender and he is strong and he knows how to coordinate. You need to see him telling his, his midfielders, move out, move out, go, 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 go. I love what I see at the China's International Kids Cup. Explanter, they made it to the international finals last year and they were really good, yeah, with their football. They are still going on strong this year. Explanter, uh, primary school from Ikorodu, uh, they took on Donman today. We knew it was going to be a very tough match and they knew also so they were the first to arrive at the stadium and quickly they got down to business and when they got into the field of play with Donman, ah, they needed a little bit of luck because they got into penalties. So let's see the highlights of that match between X Planter Primary School and Donman School from Ajegunle. Welcome back. We're still at the Isheri Stadium here in Lagos State for day four of the Lagos preliminaries of the 10th edition of the Channels International Kids Cup. This is match three and we've got Explanter up against Don Men School. Explanter are in the purple jerseys. Why Don Men are donning the yellow jerseys with green socks? All the Pretty much uh, rituals are going on right about now as both players are shaking the officials and we're getting ready for a really, really cracking encounter. The weather is perfect. Amazing weather right here for the boys as they look to make it to the next round. As they get us kicked off, just in number 11 starts the game for Explanta. Two-man numerical disadvantage for Explanta, but as we saw earlier today with OK Fako. And there's the wind we talked about, the goal kick from the goalkeeper not going as well and it's the first goal of the game i hadn't finished talking about the wind and it literally takes the wind out of the sails for done men a huge stroke of luck for explanter but hey they have been the better team and you can see the celebrations amazing one jesse number eight there with his compatriot is akobi patrick two counter attack brilliant skill left his man for dead left him on the top and a chance now to release daniel and chigos here is clear through and goal could this be the moment for don man and it's the equalizer you definitely knew it you knew it it had to be chigos here daniel it, it had to be gabriel chigos here he has been the life wire for don man a brilliant pass a cross field pass chigos here ice cool finish the referee whistle goes and Akoride with the chance. It's a brilliant penalty. He blasts his whistle. Chigose steps up. And he drives it and he's in. Done men as Explanta take their second kick. That's a brilliant penalty. Moves forward. He strikes it. That's how you score a penalty. You pick your spot and you hit the ball. Then his captain was to use. Had a good game. Can he bury the penalty? He does. Taking his time. Steps up. Oh my goodness, he has missed the spot kick. He puts his team one penalty away. It's a brilliant penalty. He steps up, left with a kick. He strikes it and he scores. Emphatic penalty. It's a brilliant chance on the shoulder of Jesse number five. Can he bury it? This goes in and it goes through and it's in. And it's over. The penalty shootout. Happiness and joy for Expansa. Heartbreak for John Men. It has finished in the penalty shootout by 5-3 to three in favor of Explanta. You can see joyous scenes on the field. Joy for Explanta, pain for Don Men. Ah, that's the part you don't want to see with these kids when they start crying. Don Men, they fought so hard. They kept on pushing and they got the equalizer through the guy that they call Messi. Yes, to, I don't want to know if there's any other Messi in Argentina. Chigose Gabriel of Don Men, he is the Messi of his school. And Chigose kept on pushing and got that goal. Uh, but when it gets to penalties, anything can happen. Chigose cried and cried. Uh, we tried to say, okay, it's okay, it's okay, but uh, he didn't believe in high school. Uh, we'll be going back uh, to the classrooms. Our Lagos State Football Association, they liked what they saw, and they said, Chigose, we're going to put you into the under-13 team. Sports Tonight on Channels Television. We're still telling the story of grassroots football development. Let's go on this break. When we come back, we'll tell you more. Don't go anywhere. Stay.